Hello guys, uh, welcome back to my channel, Prince Automation Destination. So in our previous lectures, we discussed about how we can execute our test cases against Chrome for testing browser in Selenium 4 and in Selenium 3, right? In case you want to take a look on how we can execute our test cases in Chrome for testing browser in Selenium 3 and Selenium 4, you can look at my previous videos. I'll be tagging them into my description of this particular YouTube video, okay? So before we move on, let us first try to understand at high level what is Chrome for testing. So Chrome for testing is a browser which is recently introduced for the automation QAs. What is the need for it? So prior to Chrome for testing, what was happening? The browsers were automatically getting upgraded, automatically getting updated into the system. So suppose you have executed your test cases against N browser and in the next, by the next time, if you are executing the test cases, it become N plus one. So there was some inconsistency of the results. So to avoid that, Chrome community has introduced Chrome for testing browser. Okay. So this is the dashboard and they have changed the endpoint also to download the driver. Okay. So now they have five type of releases, stable, stable upcoming, beta, dev, okay, and canary. So let us try to understand one by one. So stable is something which is like a standard browser that we have in our system. So in my case, it is 116. In, uh, in my case, right? Similarly, stable, uh, stable upcoming is nothing but a patch which will be applied to the stable and stable then will become 1160.0.5845.98. Uh, right now it is 96, then it will become 98, okay? Then there is a beta version which is nothing but, uh, which is rolled out to beta users and they would be using it for their general purpose or they would be performing some kind of testing. If there is some major issues then they may they may roll back if everything is okay then they uh, like convert it into stable and 117 will become the next release or next standard release in our system okay then next to beta there is a dev which is you can say development team is working on dev stable you can say and can raise a daily build wherein they will be making changes on the daily basis and at the end of the day they would be merging the changes into dev develop so it will become dev stable and at last dev will become beta and beta will become stable so this is how the execution flow will work okay so now if you look at it you see stable right so uh, you can see stable and uh, then you see chrome and chrome driver so previously if you look at the previous uh, uh, like uh, way of downloading the driver so it was only chrome drivers we, we were we were having the provision to download the drivers only right but now what they have done they have given the provision to download the chrome for testing browser as well so that we can have standard as well as chrome for testing browser okay so now without further delay let me jump onto the code side and uh, give you some understanding so let us uh, try to run it uh, go step by step i mean so i'm commenting this code and i want to run my test cases in standard browser okay so first I'll execute my test cases in the standard browser. So let us see. So in this case, I have 116 and I don't need to provide anything. So in standard browser, execution will take place as it is. I don't provide anything and I'm using Selenium 4 in this case. So I'm not using even web driver manager. Okay, so it is able to log in, everything worked fine. So what about 117? So if we observed we have seen that 117 is the next release, next beta release. There is some issues in the beta release. I'll just showcase you. Uh, previously, it was the issues were in the canary as well as dev as well, but now they got fixed into the uh, canary and dev. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to run the test cases in 117. So if you look at it, it has uh, launched the browser. Yeah, uh, we have made one mistake. We have added the Chrome options, but we didn't provide it to the Chrome driver. We need to provide it. Okay, so I'm now running it. Okay, now what you will see, it will launch the Chrome for testing browser, but it won't be able to enter the URL. So this is one issue which is there in the beta versions. Uh, let us see just now. So it will launch Chrome for testing.
and one more thing i would like to point out so if you see the color of this chrome for testing browser is different and the color of the standard browser is different so if you observe it it is able to launch the chrome for testing browser and you see chrome for testing version is only for automated testing right but it is unable to uh, like launch or uh, uh, provide the url so if you look at this particular issue this is issue is reported by Naveen automation labs right so if you look at it uh, they have reported the issue he has reported this issue right you will uh, find it somewhere he has uh, reported this issue and uh, and he he mentioned like this issue is in stable beta dev and canary right so now what uh, and you can see that it is uh, like still exist in the chrome community okay now what i am going to do instead of 117 i am going to execute 118 right and in case uh, like you want to understand how it downloads chrome for testing and how it execute chrome for testing browser you can go back to my previous video which i'll be putting into the description okay now i'm going to do it for 118 so let us see what will happen in case of 118 so in case of 118 it should work okay because they have provided the fix for the dev, uh, dev build. So let us see about the execution. So you see uh, now the Chrome for testing browser got launched and it is able to enter its source lab demo and able to log in as well. So they have now provided the fix for the dev and the canary. So dev and canary have the same version. It's just like a subset. Canary is just like a subset. So this uh, particular video was uh, uh, Selenium 4 centric. In case you want me to create a video on Selenium 3, uh, please uh, provide a comment in the video. I'll try to create it for the Selenium 3 users as well. And uh, I would request you to please like, share and subscribe. And in case of any confusion, please feel free to provide a comment into the description. I'll definitely provide, uh, try to provide a solution against it. Thank you for watching.